Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 phenomena that science can't explain. Today we know so much and there's so many smart scientists working things out. Sometimes it seems like there's no magic in the world as all of these mysteries are being discovered, but these are 10 crazy things with no explanation that will leave you stunned. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my new channel, The Crafty. There's awesome DIYs and crafts that you can do and anyone who comments on The Crafty's video saying they subscribed will be shouted out in the next Top 10s video. So do that and why not subscribe to Top 10s too. Coming in at number 10 is Shaking Towers. This one is coming from Iran. In 1316, a building called the Menar Jonban was constructed. Menar Jonban means shaking minarets, which are slim towers. And you know the phrase it does what it says on the tin? Well, this very much applies to the Menar Jonban. It was designed so that if one of the minarets or towers were shaken, then the other one would also shake. And this really works, as the towers are so thin, they can be shaken. However, there's no explanation as how the tower adjacent to the other tower also shakes. There's been deep excavations and examinations examinations done by hundreds of experts, but no matter who they bring to the table or tower, no one can solve this. Similar buildings have been found with shaking minaret features which were built in the 1450s in India and other parts of Iran, but no matter who comes to check these places out, no one can understand how on earth this works. The most logical explanation would be there's something underground which connects the towers, but as I said, the site has been excavated and they found this was not the case. It seems there's no logic to this, and it's a fascinating phenomena which cannot be solved. The building is actually a place of worship, so many call this building a miracle. What do you guys think could be moving the minarets? Next up is the moon illusion. Why is it that when the moon is on the horizon, it looks larger than it does when it's up in the sky? It may seem obvious, as it's something that's always just there. But think about it, the moon doesn't change how far away it is during the day, it just moves around the Earth. So, why is the moon always far larger on the horizon, like sunsets and sunrises, compared to nighttime when it's up in the sky? Well, it may surprise you to know, there's no answer to this. Or at least, there might be, but it's unknown. There have been many debates between scientists, but it's all speculation, and nobody really knows why. The moon isn't actually larger on the horizon, horizon than in the sky. The reason why it appears bigger on the horizon is all an illusion. However, there's 100% no evidence to suggest why this illusion is created. It's odd more people haven't brought this up, as it's blowing my mind now that I think about it. What do you guys think the reason behind the moon illusion could be? Get ready for some heated debate in the comments below. Or just a bunch of people spamming gift card codes. You know what, I'm sure they'll be both. Next up is Black Rings. This is a mysterious sky phenomena which is sweeping the world. All around the globe there are people seeing these mysterious and eerie black rings circling around the skies. They've been seen in India, the USA, Canada, Brazil, and many other countries. But for whatever reason, the main place these have been reported in is the UK. I better keep my eye open next time I leave the basement. Ah, uh, I mean house. Yeah, my big, big house. Yeah. Anyway, many UFO experts say it could be a smoke vortex, which could be evidence of an alien visitation. But these are, of course, just theories, and the vortex thing has not been backed up by science. One girl in the UK playing tennis saw one of these floating in the sky and was very scared. And a couple driving on a highway in Missouri also spotted one and snapped a photo. And crazy fact, someone I actually know has seen one of these and here's the original photo they took. Seriously guys, this is becoming one scary phenomena. Next up is the wow signal. This is yet another sign of UFO life. However, this one is backed up by science, a well-respected scientist actually. In August of 1977, a radio signal was picked up at a space observatory in Ohio. But I'm from Ohio though. The code was 6EQUJS. Now while this may sound like a random string of letters and numbers to you, to Jerry R. Eamon, this was simply amazing. That's because this signal had all the signs that it had come from a non-solar system and was non-terrestrial. He was amazed even more by this signal as it matched the expected signal of an interstellar signal that scientists had already predicted. He couldn't believe it, so he circled it and simply wrote WOW next to it. However, we don't and maybe will never know if this signal was sent from aliens, as it was never discovered where this signal originally from. Or maybe it was, and there's something they don't want you to know. Coming up next is the hum. Not only is this phenomena unexplained and scary, it could be affecting you or someone you know. In 1993, residents of New Mexico began complaining about a humming sound they would keep hearing. In 1997, Congress met and assembled a force of elite scientists and researchers to see what this noise was. It had been driving people literally insane for years and even caused some people to take their own lives. But right now, despite the hum being audible for over 23 years, people still have no idea where this is coming from. The only development in that time is it's now being heard in other places, such as in parts of America, the UK, and Spain. In fact, in the UK, the Bristol hum affects thousands of people in the city of Bristol. The hum is very low frequency and can drive people absolutely nuts. Some say it's to do with the people's hearing its ears, but this simply doesn't add up, as it's always heard in certain areas. Have you ever heard this hum? Mmm. Nah, I'm just kidding, that was me. 
Next up is Fireballs. The Mekong River is a large river that flows through China, Burma, Thailand, Cambodia, and many other countries. It may just look like an ordinary river, and a lot of the time it is. But sometimes fireballs rise out of the river into the sky. It happens in the autumn, and fireballs can be seen rising out of the water in the hundreds. There are thousands of sightings, as the fireballs can be seen from over 100 kilometers away. But many people actually go down near to the river to see these things up close and personal. I don't know if it's a good idea to stand underneath a bunch of unexplained fireballs, but okay. The fireballs are very big, and seem to fly out of the water from nowhere. So far there's no proof as to where these come from, but some locals believe they come from Naga, which is an ancient serpent. But a scientist would probably disagree with that. But then again, science can't answer this, so I'm going with the snake theory. Next up is sliding stones. This one could be happening near you, as it happens in several locations around the world. In many deserts, rocks can be seen sliding around the floor. At first, scientists thought people were moving the rocks, as there was nothing in the barren desert that could move them. But this was not the case, as there were no footprints, but there were very long lines where the stones had slid. The lines were so long, sometimes going on for miles, and they would also make sharp turns out of nowhere. Of course people weren't doing this, and it couldn't have been the wind, as these rocks are really heavy. But despite scientific research, no good reason as to why these rocks do this has been discovered. The researchers have no idea, nor does anyone who lives near the deserts. This has happened in other deserts in the USA and South America too. A lot of theorists blame aliens, but then again, aliens do seem to get the blame for everything. But then again, there is no logical explanation for this, so aliens is as good as guess as any. This is one mystery we may never solve. Next up is cow compass. There are a few animals who have a kind of compass in their brains which fixes their movement direction. This is common in birds, but it seems cows also have this odd ability. A few years ago, a group of Czech and German scientists decided to study a group of cows and bulls movement patterns. They used satellite images and meticulously tracked the herd's movements and found something very strange. Cows and bulls always move from north to south. You may think this is them moving into the sun or moving away from wind currents for warmth, but these reasons have been proved to not be why cows do this. The true reason behind cows' mental compasses making them go from north to south is still unknown. So far nobody studied a cow's brain enough to figure it out. And even if they did do that, which is obviously impossible right now anyway, they still might not be able to figure it out. This is one animal mystery which has baffled scientists everywhere. Next up is rainbow flashes. This is another phenomenon which can be spotted in the sky. Before storms in many parts of the world, these flashes of light can be seen in the sky for several seconds. They appear to be some kind of rainbow clouds which are actually pretty big, kind of like nature's version of a pride parade. These often happen before large amounts of rain and thunder, but in a few rare cases they've been seen on clear or sunny days. There are several scientific theories about these, and no they do not involve aliens. Some say it could be piezoelectricity which creates colourful waves of electricity, and the other is that the rainbow clouds could be phosphine gas emission. This would make sense, as the gas does appear to be rainbow in the light, but why would phosphine gas be floating around randomly in the sky anyway? This is a sky mystery which is unexplained and confusing. But on the plus side, this at least looks nice unlike those creepy black rings. Next up is birds. We all know from before that cows have something of a mental compass. But the most famous animal with a mental compass has to be birds. Many birds migrate to the same place every year, which is usually Africa as they go there for more heat. However, obviously the birds have no maps, GPS or compass, but somehow millions of birds go to the same spot every single year. It's unknown how the birds know how and when to migrate. And it's not like a flock mentality either, because even lone birds know when to go and they all travel to the exact same area. There's some theories that birds have a deeper understanding of the world's magnetic field, which is what many scientists believe. But no matter how much research is done into this, people can't seem to agree how birds know where and when to go. Another theory is the location of Africa is wired into the bird's brains. And another one is that they can sense heat very well. So they sense the heat in Africa and then go over for the warmth. This, like everything else on this list, is one big fat mystery. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the biggest mystery. I think it's gotta be the hum, because that is seriously creepy. And guys, as I said before, be sure to check out my new channel, The Crafty, on YouTube. There's amazing DIYs and hacks I'm sure you guys will love. And absolutely anyone who comments in the video saying they subscribed will be shouted out in the next top 10s video. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to top 10s.